Our next guest is the star of the new movie, The Devil's Violinist, a film that explores the life of Niccolo Paganini, an Italian composer and violinist who rose to fame as a virtuoso in the 19th century. David Garrett has more than just a few accolades himself. He's a recording breakthrough German pop artist and crossover violinist. And he's here to tell us about his new movie. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome. you very much for having me. Good to see you too. And of course, you are the star of The Devil's Violinist. Is this your first acting gig? Tell us how you got the role. Um, basically, obviously, I'm a musician, and yes. it's something which uh, I love to do dearly since many, many years. And um, my heart lies in classical music and in writing music. So yeah. um, I got into this project because I wanted to uh, write soundtrack and do my first film score, which I did. So that's what you were going to do initially? Yeah, you that's what... You were planning to actually act in the film? I wasn't really necessarily um, planned to be, uh, you know, the main lead of the movie. <laughs> but then, uh, in, in the end, I guess the producers really thought it would make sense to have somebody, especially since there are a lot of performance scenes, mm. somebody really being able to uh, showcase what actually Paganini was all about. Yeah. And it looks so much more emotional because you were actually playing it, opposed yep. to a voiceover, someone yeah. acting like they're Especially playing it. Especially when, yeah. when it comes to Paganini, and it's, it's also really visual, so... I'm You make That's that look beautiful. so easy. He's like, no, I'm doing this. To learn that when you're an actor in about two or three weeks. Yeah, and any other violinist would have been like, no, they're faking it. <laughs> so, yeah, you would probably tell. Wow. You have to tell us about the movie titled The Devil's yeah. Violinist. Why? What does Satan have to, to um, do with Paganini what, exactly? Well, you, you, you know that saying when you, when, uh, you have a great uh, instrumentalist and they say, oh, he sold his soul to the mm. devil. I mean, yeah. it's very kind of common. Paganini actually was the one who created that myth because he was the first real like superstar in music. Oh. Um, he was around uh, 1820, 1830, mm -hmm. pretty much the most famous uh, musician. And wow. uh, he basically reinvented this instrument before uh, Paganini was just merely a chamber music instrument and he really changed everything. Literally the Jimi Hendrix uh, of the violin. Wow. wow, amazing. So what would you hope people take away from this movie? Especially, you know, people who have never heard of him. Well, I think it's, it's a great story, first of all, because it's, um, it's a little timeless. It's really about fame. He, he becomes famous very, very quickly, of course, you know, with fame comes you know, also the dark side of the human being, so there are a lot of vices he kind of falls into. Um, but in the end, you know, he, he has a good heart, a good character, and I think it's, it's a great story, especially because there's also love involved, um, and uh, hopefully people will enjoy the music. And there's been, of course, a lot of talk yeah. about the movie as well, mm -hmm. and some great reviews and some not so good ones. I mean, do you, Can't do you make read everybody. the reviews? Yeah. Honestly, How do you handle the negative when, when you read it, the if thing, you read it? Here's the thing. Um, so far, I haven't read anything negative about the music. And for me, that was the, the real reason why, uh, why I did this project. And uh, if nobody's attacking the music, I'm totally fine. That's where your heart I, is. I, I, never said, I never said I'm El Pacino, right. but uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, if people enjoy the music, then, then I did a good job. Well, yeah. you've been playing this music for a long time. Is it true you picked yeah. up the violin at the age of four and yeah. fell in love? What was it about the violin that spoke to you? Um, well, I have an older brother, mm -hmm. so uh, you know the situation when you're the young. I don't know if you have older mm -hmm. siblings or yeah. not, mm -hmm. but basically if they get an Xbox or if they get anything like a, a new bicycle or whatever, you, as a younger uh, sibling, you, you want to have it and my yeah. brother was kind of forced to uh, to play the violin and I, I didn't I mean I was four years old how, how should I know what my parents want from him but I still thought it was the coolest thing and I had to have one so I, I just always took the violin from him and um, I guess I must have been a little talented because after a few weeks I sounded better than him without wow. having a teacher yeah. so I guess my parents thought uh, it might make more sense to have me continue. Yeah. Oh, well, we definitely want to hear you sing that. But before you yeah. go, tell us really quick how yeah. you're helping young people get involved with classical music. Yeah. Well, for me, it's uh, it's really been um, um, yeah something which is very important to me. Um, as I said in the beginning, uh, classical music is my home, and uh, for me, it's very important also to. Um, you know, put popular music into my programs. I do a lot of core classical concerts, mm -hmm. but I additionally do a lot of crossover concerts where I integrate, uh, I mean, you should know this one. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 Michael Jackson. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, 
Michael. Can you play any hip hop well, tunes? I don't know if that's going to be. I a just actually did on something the violin, for the last but... tour. It's not as um, as um, modern right now, but Michael Jackson also. <laughs> Listen to you play all day. You can do this all day, but we do want to hear an excerpt from the movie, Thank you. The Devil's Violinist. So we'll let you go get set up sure. and we'll hear something from the Absolutely. actual movie, Let's The Devil's it. Violinist, which is in theaters now. And this will take us to commercial break. So go ahead and take it away, David Garrett. Music is important to me, 